Hi everyone, I'm going to share with you my Perceptron. I create this Perceptron in my uh, deep learning class. So I consider this is a pretty good example how you can learn how the percep Perceptron works. Like I like to have a representation for show you how it works. So we are going to jump to, to first of all with the how my Perceptron works. Just one small example. So I run Perceptron. So you see, this is my graphical interface. And how it works is very easily. You just uh, you just put your pointer mouse in any coordinate that you wish to have, and press the keyboard space. You press space, 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 space again. And after that, you press the button class one. You will see red triangles, which represent the class number one, and then you can select more more coordinates, one coordinate, another, another, another. As you can see, when I select the coordinates, you will see in my terminal all the selected points that I have, I have select, and after that, you select a lot of points and press the button class two. You will see. Um, it's very easily. We will, I think, the line will cross kind of like this. So after that, we press the button calculate, and you see how it takes. It's taking a lot. It's taking a lot because these, the this point and this point and this point are very close, are very near. So between you have more distance between these classes is is gonna be faster to calculate the error. So now we, let's jump how this algorithm works. So at the beginning I just want to show you which uh, libraries we we are using: NumPy, Math, Matplotlib, and that's it. So the Math is we only use Math because in the sigmoid function, we have expon exponential here, and that's it. That's why we are using math. <laughs> so, okay, let's jump to the code Perceptron, start in line number 60. And I, why I don't show you this code, because it's not related to Perceptron. This, this code is just for give us like this graphical interface, that's it. And to, uh, gathering and put all the, the the points that we or coordinates that we select in in by in one array of arrays. So okay, this is our perceptron. This is the variable that we have here. The most important I think is learning rate. This allows to find a very small value of the error. I mean very low uh, low points in the function near to zero. And these are the weights. Every every epoch, every time, every yes, and every epoch we are calculating the W1, W2, and W0. These are the weights. And we come down. This ref. This is the array of arrays that contains all the points that we have select in the in the graphical interface. And this is our net function no yes our net function and you can consult in this function in any deep learning machine learning book um, this is our function and this is how we calculate the error so this this is how we adjust the weight so I put some limits in the errors for because it's very hard to find exactly zero when the error is zero, it's very hard. Uh, so that's why I have some limits for my algorithm be faster and don't be like, I don't want so much accuracy. So so after we find a very valuable, very good weights for when the error is zero, we update the, the value of the weights. And, and we do this uh, a lot of times like this 10,000 times 
we calculate like we select one point and another point then we select one point and another point when we are changing we are changing so often um, every time that we select all points and, and update the weights we call that an epoch uh, or one loop so here what you can modify is the learning rate you can create a smaller value for you have a more accuracy and you can modify the initial values of weight one two three you can put by default zero this is just like where our first line is going to start which uh, how is going to be the shape of that line uh, you can modify also the the limits that i have here for the error you can be more you can have more accuracy if you reduce these uh, these uh, limits or maybe you will be more tough and put like zero actually but it's going to be very hard so you can modify also the sigmoid function and that's it that's uh, how our small perceptron works so if i want to share with you uh, my github repository for you can download this perceptron and if you have any doubts of how this works uh, you can ask me but I don't remember a lot I did this like two years ago and now I'm focus focusing in another stuff okay thank you very much bye